Hispanic Heritage Month week. Yeah. Man, they don't even give us the whole month to ourselves. They give us like weird, like half of one and half of another. It's like Hispanic Heritage time ish. Yeah, that sounds like a perfect setup for a stand up joke. So, what about that Hispanic Heritage Month, huh? Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Ready? October, September 15th to October 15th. They couldn't even give us a month. It sounds like a month to me. I mean, they could have given us a single month to call our own. They had to split it up. <laughs> All right. Ready to store it? That's why nobody knows about it. I'll put it right here. Oh, that's a Hispanic Heritage Month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beginning, I guess. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of uh, DT's Week in Review. I'm Michael Cantu, Opinions Editor for the Daily Toreador. I'm Jericho Rosas, uh, Opinions Columnist for the Daily Toreador. How you been this week, Jericho? How's things going for you in your life, in your life of mechanical engineering? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the best you can give us? Um, well, uh, I have projects due every Thursday, so that's cool. I mm have -hmm. a quiz every Tuesday. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I had a test. Uh, homework due. Next week I have a test on Monday, test on Tuesday, another project due on Thursday, test. Uh, did I say Monday? I have two tests. Oh. Two tests, a project, two projects. Yeah. It, well, it, at least it's not it's overwhelming a, you. That's a good thing about it. You seem very calm. I'm, I'm clothed. <clears throat> you do have clothes on, thank the Lord. Because if you didn't, then you'd probably catch cold and die. Yep. It's pretty wet out there. It is. Um, this week, Jericho, your favorite person, uh, got on to a bunch of your favorite people uh, for not standing up during the national anthem. Donald J. Trump, our fearless leader, has called just about every person in the NFL a son of a bitch uh, for not standing for the national anthem when they play it at the football games. Um, my thing about that is this week proves that there is really just about nothing that Donald uh, doesn't hate, honestly. I mean, that that is a great American pastime, football. And he's gone for the gullet on that thing. I mean... I think he's just upset. <laughs> they don't let him, you know, own a team. <laughs> or, like, play. <laughs> I heard, actually, in fact, that he used to own a team of some sort. Uh, I think like it was that. in the... In Canada, maybe? I don't know. It was like CFL or... I have no... Yeah, it was like an American League or something like that. I, I, I couldn't tell you much about it, but... He got burned on that, I'm assuming, because I've never heard of it. Uh, let me think about it. Yeah, he did, as is most of his other business ventures. What do you... What do you... About he's a successful businessman. That's why uh, he's the president. I forget. He's a successful millionaire. Mm-hmm. Of his own accord? Mm-hmm. Billionaire. b b b, -b billion Um... Actually, I know the guy who did the audit. No. It's a million. With you know the guy that did the audit? Mm -hmm. I know uh, the guy that did his audit. Yeah, who, who's, who's that I guy? can't speak about him because they're still in the audit. Oh, they're still auditing? <laughs> we can't speak <laughs> about can't the audit? can't speak about it because they're still in the audit. Oh, okay. Can't do it. You can't see my hand gestures there, friends, but... I did, I did the I did the Donald J. Trump hands the hand waves. <laughs> uh, what do what, you uh, you seem like a very uh, civil liberties type of fella? Do, do you think people should be yelled at because they don't stand or whatever they have to do for the flag, whatever that actually means? I don't even know what to think about the situation. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's just so befuddling. Like yeah, of uh, I mean. You can sit, you can stand, you can you sit on the john, you yeah. can, you know, lay down if you want. <laughs> I don't really care, <laughs> but uh, apparently Donald does. Yeah, apparently. I mean, and, I mean, because uh, he respects uh, the flag, that's why. Oh, you're, he like, respects America, that's why. He fought hard for this country. Good old flag codes and like mm -hmm. not, you know, 
mm-hmm. draping them all over yourself. Yes, you, you actually clothing sure. yourself. You shared in the yourself flags. an interesting article about yes, that. I, little, I, <laughs> little tidbits on what not to do with the flag. Yeah, I e, don't make to, a bikini out of it. Yeah, don't make a bikini out of it. <clears throat> don't you, don't um, you know mm-hmm. make disposable plates of some sort. <laughs> You know how many like like American flag like disposable plates must be get like get just get thrown away at the end um, of the year? Quite a bit, I'd imagine. Quite so, yeah. One thing that I I didn't know that you were supposed to not hang it what horizontally. I oh, yeah. I learned that this week. Yeah. So next time I go, it's gonna be draped or flung, waving free, waving free, free like the liberties that we have. Wave in the air. And the president like our freedom. You for exercising them it's just ridiculous and i mean <clears throat> like i i do you think though kaepernick's in the right here to you know whenever he first started doing this and well what what also now that i'm kind of thinking about it i don't understand quite why it is that you know i don't understand why the kneeling's worse than the the sitting the sitting Kind of seemed a little disrespectful. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I can feel that. But at you know, least, it's at a little you're... more flagrant. The knee at least <clears throat> has some sort of, like, reverence about it. Like, yeah, I mean... I mean solidarity. I mean, oh, speaking of solidarity, the solidarity. The, the, uh, the little arm linkings that the teams are doing now. Oh, That's, yeah. Uh, did you see Jerry and them boys? Uh, right? I did see That Jerry surprised me. I, did, I didn't think that Jerry Jones was that type of person. I, I thought Neither he, did I. So, yeah. I almost have respect for him. Yeah. But I really don't. Because he's the uh, owner of the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't want to respect him. <laughs> <clears throat> Gary and them boys. Yeah. But I, I just say, I, I don't know. I feel like Kaepernick's, he's doing something right, I guess. You, you have to. He picked a good hill to, like, die on. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but golly gee, uh, just... There's there's just not much to say about the situation. His gripes are, are valid. Mm-hmm. His his method of discourse is, you know, one not involving violence. Yeah. I mean, that's that seems pretty scary to me. Yeah, I mean, you just those have, those two. Have... <clears throat> nope, nope. That's that's how revolutions start. Oh. What's next? They're gonna take away our. Our right to, uh, I don't know, insert stupid. Uh, they're going to take away our right to bear arms after that. Mm, First, okay. we can't sing the national anthem. Then they're going to take away our guns. That's how it works. Yeah. It's just Kaepernick trying to trying to fulfill Obama's legacy. Exactly. Wait, what? I think I read something like that on Facebook. doesn't make any sense to me either. No. Mm-mm. No. But, that's the way it is. <laughs> But, uh, but, yeah, I mean, civil liberties-wise, I mean, there's not a, like... You can't fire somebody for doing that. I mean, you can fire someone for whatever reason. I don't like the way you smell. <laughs> Fired. Oh. But, just, there's no, there's not a really good reason. <laughs> yeah, and it's one of those things where, you know, if you're going to say something... Like, think about it before you say it. Like, you can't just say, who oh, we'll fire them. And then everybody's like, oh, yeah, we're going to fire them. Or we're, we're going to make laws so that they have to stand. Like, shut, shut up. No, that's not how things oh, work. Like, like, it sounds like something the uh, Nazis would have done. Hmm. 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 I'm just saying. Well. Hmm. Oh, speaking of which, did you see uh, Trump wants to have uh, military parades now in D.C.? I saw something like that. It was yes. a while back that he said uh, that, but uh, yeah, yeah, because you know, there's nothing cooler though than you know all the music playing, and then there's one camera that just jets like and the you see the missiles and the people and the marching, president just like waving, waving. As, as the things go by. Those that's actually a really cool scene. Um, if life was a movie, but guess what? <laughs> it's real life, and you know I don't want to be flexing that muscle because you know what. I don't want to use that muscle. Sounds like something the uh, the commies would have done, maybe. Oh! <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe he's trying to like drum up some nationalist, mm. uh, wink, wink, hint, hint uh, imagery. <laughs> but um, 
think it goes both ways. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> also... In terms on, of the authoritarianism. <laughs> I think also on display the other day was, like, Russia. Oh, Big Vlad, Big Bad Vlad was putting on a parade in his home country of the Rus. Um... I just don't get it. I don't understand what this love affair is with the big weapons and the bang He's bang. just trying to honor the flag. With guns. <laughs> and tanks. And airplanes. But mainly missiles. <laughs> well, speaking of making it rain, this week it hasn't stopped raining. In the literal f- sense, water has been falling from the sky. Yeah. My there's, shoes there's, got wet oh, this morning. Do what? My shoes got wet this oh morning. Oh my god, these shoes got wet the other day. I have another pair of shoes because I, my workout shoes, I got them wet. And you know what really does not smell very well? Wet, sweaty shoes. They smell terrible. Are those your workout loafers? Oh, no, I have a pair of Nikes that I have. Oh. One pair that I bought like two years ago. They like the fancy trainers? Uh, I don't think so. I can imagine you wearing like fancy like I didn't like leather trainers. No, whenever I, when I, whenever I went to go buy these, I, I was of the mindset that nah, I'll work out every now and again. So I really don't want to put too much money in it, but I don't want to be too cheap and look like a weirdo in the Publix. <laughs> like I don't want to just like wear white Adidas. But, oh boy! But I also don't want to you know buy some insert oh. name of famous footwear here. So they're not boating shoes. No, they're not. No, I'm not a complete idiot. I don't know, flat soles, <laughs> I think that's one of the requirements. <laughs> uh, but, Christ, and it's, it's every September there's a week like this where, where it just, it starts, and then it won't stop, and then it gets stupid cold, and then next week it's going to be like 90 and humid, and I'm just going to want to die even more. So, if I'm not here next week, it's because I died. Because it's humid. Noted. <laughs> what? It's noted. <laughs> so, you might Let, go so Let's long. be, uh, your... Your last uh, words to the world. Oh, my last words to the world. When it gets humid. Um, let's see. Uh, Let me think about this. Bush states nine eleven. That's 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 what I want to go out uh, with. Okay. Because he did. Can't melt. Steel water. <laughs> Towers don't fall vertically. <laughs> they do when it's raining. <laughs> they just sink to the ground. Oh, yo, uh, speaking of that, there's a sinkhole on, like, 42nd in Boston. Apparently oh, really? Bu- yeah, a uh, school I'm, bus. <laughs> this is news to me. It. Yeah, oh, well, no, it just, like, happened, like, Friday morning. It's, uh, today's Friday. It happened, I think, about 8 o'clock-ish. This just happened? No, yeah, yeah. School bus stuck in a sinkhole near 42nd and Elgin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you know those kids are freaking excited because they get to go to school late. And that's going to be a story. My bus was in a sinkhole. <laughs> what? Baby, <Are you> okay? <laughs> I was just like banging the other kid's head against the door, and then the whole bus went down. I don't know what happened. You gave me a concussion. Christ <laughs> on a bike, and you know it's been wet everywhere. Like over and at Flint, it's it's flooded. I felt bad driving down University last night because one one half of it is just a lake. And you can't help but, like, splash onto the concrete where people walk by. Oh, you mean like me? Yeah, yeah. And I'll I... be, like, walking the class, and then, like, the bus just passes, and... Oh, God. It's yes. like, oh, oh, mm. let me see, uh, the, the grass is right there. I guess I'll <laughs> deal with the, uh, grassy, muddy, wet shoes later. I, mean, I don't want to get my whole body drenched. No, no, yeah. Honestly, it's better to have a little bit of mud on your shoes than, you know, have your whole sock wet. Because I, I feel... As if, uh, my experience with this type of things is are I don't know um, that if if you walk on the mud then your shoes don't get as wet I mean you still get muddy as hell but I mean you don't have to deal with wet socks that's a good point which is the worst thing in the world honestly. that is honestly that that's worse than Trump no uh, yeah yeah like oh boy that would have been a very bad thing to say but I'm gonna say it in, nope no I'm not <laughs> <laughs> oh. <coughs> Man. For your just listening pleasure, though, I was going to make a joke comparing, you know, young children who do not, are not very well off in various countries, uh, and saying that that's not as bad as having wet socks. But they don't have socks. What? <laughs> Where do they have waters? <laughs> They're going to hell. At least there's no water there. <laughs> 
can't get wet socks in hell. <laughs> Maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe there's like some like weird. Like, I don't know. Yeah. For people who don't like wet socks, like yeah, that's their hell. That, that, that is yeah. their hell. Like there. Hitler and Osama are just like down there. You have the wet socks. Mm-hmm. Oh my, this is very bad. <laughs> This is almost as bad as the Jews. <laughs> Unquote. Unquote there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, have you been have you been getting splashed upon this week? Is that is that a thing that's happened to you yet? No, not you, not particularly. You really. walk I, I avoid the the splashing. Uh, the wet socks as well. I've not seen anybody get creative though. I haven't seen like bags over people's heads or anything like that, which is kind of a, you know, because some people just like cut out a plastic bag and pretend that's a pom <laughs> um, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I think it says explicitly on the bag not to do that. <laughs> Please use the fact for trial. <coughs> um, man, but yeah. it's almost it's almost made me want to invest in rain boots. But I know it's not going to rain anymore after this week, so. But, uh, just no, it'll for, just get, like, freezing cold. Yeah, that's gonna be the fun part. I love the cold. I love not being able to feel my freaking toes. Or face. Or I'm hands. Say that. You know the worst just part extremities, it, really. The wind. And then, like, you're... Because there's moisture in your eyes, if you didn't know. Oh, no, I didn't. But, yeah, whenever, whenever the wind blows, it just makes your eyes, you know, um... Very dry. Oh, freeze up wet? sometimes. Yeah. And they're no longer wet after Mm-mm. the wind. No. Okay. Yeah. You ever you ever heard uh, screeching as you try to wink, or uh, blink rather, like just trying to do that? Just oh, it's like when you drive the windshield wipers across the oh uh, yeah the windshield. <laughs> exactly. That. I see. So um, I can't wait for next summer. Quite frankly, the first day of fall was hell to me. I hate the fall. Everything's dead. It's depressing. I hate the winter because everything's not only is everything dead, but it's cold. And it's depressing. And I hate the spring just because of the pollen. I hate the summer because it's hot. Oh, I love the summer because it's hot. Let's just keep this going. Like, I, I pretty much hate every time of the year. <laughs> There's no time where I'm happy. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> where, where, where? What is? What is your? Um, uh, te- uh, okay, preferred so climate. I I think it would uh, be around fl- fl- flat line. Okay. At around you know, fall. Uh huh. Uh. And, uh, just like the two days it's Yeah, just because everyone's as miserable as me. Mm. So, like, you know, <laughs> you know, it's all right. And then, you know, then it gets cold. I could deal with that. Yes, it's not, this week, this not all that bad. But uh, then it gets warm mm-hmm. in the spring. Mm-hmm. Mm, the pollen. Pollen. Just and then I die. Can't hang. Can't, Summer. Can't hot. Hang. Pollen. Mm-hmm. Still dead. <laughs> yeah, this is like my rebirth. Let me tell you. My goodness. Apart from like having a cold, you know, I I'm I'm kicking. No more sneezing, no more sniffles. Remember that? That was, mm. that was nice. Mm. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Anyways, in in other news, both of the Kardashian, what what one one of the Kardashians and the little girl. My gal and I the, were talking about this, girl. and I I pregnant. I I didn't care. Honestly, why not? I mean, they're America's uh, family. Oh, I thought that was the uh, the T Rock. Uh, well, besides them, they do represent America very well. God bless America. <laughs> I'm sure Kanye will also do a remix of that just for us. Hopefully. Oh man, I hope Kanye, if you're listening, yeah. please remix this song. Please, Jesus. Mm-hmm. And it's also you know in the public domain too, so you don't have to pay anybody to. Mm-hmm. Do it. I mean, you can pay us. Please. Yeah, we'll we'll give you some more samples. Please send me money. Oh, I need yeah. to buy more shoes. You need so to add him wet. on this. <clears throat> Do what? I need to at him on this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. maybe he'll uh, respond. Oh my goodness. At, oh, and it's on SoundCloud too. Oh, he'll definitely respond. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna have to put it. What's that little? What's his? What's his and Jay Z's business called? Is it Jay Z? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it looked like some sort of millennial. Well, Ugh. you definitely do look cooler than I am. As in the sense of you keep up with the times more than I do. I don't care about all this young people stuff. It's the shoes mainly. Yeah. What are those? Uh, these are Vans. They're 
hipper than the uh, Sperry's, I believe. Those are Vans? Yes, these are these are indeed Vans. We're looking at my shoes now. <laughs> <laughs> On this week's episode of Week in Review, <laughs> Michael looks at the, uh, what's your name? Jericho's shoes. Jesus Christ. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what's, your, what's the Kardashian? I, um... Uh... I'm 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 fairly happy though that I didn't get a push alert on this one because whenever who got pregnant like a few months ago that they sent a push alert for I think it was oh Selena Kim Gomez. Kardashian yeah is is pregnant mm-hmm. she's pregnant oh. okay all three of them really because I know it was a little Jenner girl and Kim who's the third <laughs> the the third one. Uh, Chloe? Uh, yes. Oh, that's good. Kylie, Kylie. Chloe, <clears throat> and Kim. I hate that family so much. I really do. I don't care for them. I despise them. I, I hate the rich. Damn bourgeoisie. You say in your Sperry's and you know Under Armour polo. Hey, well that's different. I mean, you, you like you like so you're appropriating the bourgeois. Like the the elites are cool, but the uh, just the pop culture like just I'm rich because I'm I rich. have a reality TV show aren't. When, when, I'm an elitist. Hey 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 what 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 what. You would be exactly the same. You you would fit in perfect with the Boy. Jenners. Why is that? No, I wouldn't. Yes. Or the, the, the Kardashians, no. rather. Yes. No, I couldn't. Yes. I'm not cool like them. I'm not... I'm not up, Maybe not on their with. show, but if it was Keeping Up With The Cantus, I know you would, <laughs> you would love it. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Michael. Speaking of that self-centeredness, we, uh, centeredness, we did a video last week for the Daily Toreador newspaper, which this is a part oh, of. I keep, yes, for, yes. I keep forgetting to kind of integrate that. We did a video last week where uh, we set up a fake a mock job interview. I, I saw it. In which I was able to to interview myself. And let me tell you, that ha- that was the best thing I feel we've ever done at this newspaper. Uh, well, I'm qualified. <laughs> I'm pretty much good at everything. <laughs> because what? it was a video that was about me that only included me. And it was... The, you know what that does to my self-esteem? I don't want to know. Yes, like... It goes from like 100% to 4,000. Like, like every time I watch that video. You're like that guy in Fruity Land. And what? The new episode of Rick and Morty. Mm. The Fruity Land guy. I haven't been able to keep up with that. You need to watch I know, it. I'm a bad fan. Alrighty, you're gonna, you're gonna have to watch it and just remember the Fruity Land guy. Fruity Land. Fruity Land guy. You're a Fruity Land guy. Uh, keep up with But it. like <clears throat> the Fruity Landedness being a, a uh, representation of your ego. <laughs> Keep what? that in mind as you go through this episode. What ego, Jericho? I don't have an ego. Oh, that's right. Egos are sinful. Mm-hmm. Egos are for the godless. And Michael. Apparently. Well, oh, look at me. I'm so above egoism. Huh? Well, see, the thing is, like, my ego. it used to be, there used to be a point in time where the rich were, you know, educated and they, they, would, they were, you know, hip somewhat, but, you know, they'd Excuse me. They'd also go to, like, the opera. These people, they wake up at, like, 2 in the afternoon to start their day, go to a club, and... It's, 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 God, they wear, and, like, their whole house is just white. Like, everything's white. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Jesus Christ. Where do you get this money from? How do you why keep can't, it so white? Why can't you spend it on, like, useful things? Like, I don't know... Paying for kids' lunches? I'm sure not every child in L.A. can afford a school lunch. Preposterous. What, the free lunches? or, the, the, or, or the, Both. <laughs> <laughs> That's socialism. We can't be teaching kids socialism that early. Disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... Ugh. I just don't care. I really don't. Except for Kanye's baby. I care about that baby. Really? I like Kanye. I don't care much for Kanye. I don't like him at all, in fact. Uh, no, he is the, the pinnacle of early 21st century, you know, 
post nineties-ism. That's what I'm gonna call it. I just coined the term, guys. <laughs> post nineties-ism. He's an academic. If you didn't know, he is a. He's a Kanye. No, you. No, Kanye. You're an academic. Con- right? Kanye is most oh. definitely an academic. <laughs> Have you not seen him when he got that, that <clears throat> honorary degree confirmed? No, I didn't. From where? You gotta look it up. I don't remember where. It's probably like Chicago or something. I don't know. They hand them out like candy there, I right hear. Oh, boy. I hope uh, Dr. McGee doesn't hear this. Dr. McGee. Like, Dr. Dr. McGee. I think he graduated from the University of Chicago. Chicago. Oh, he's so happy. Just oh, I got it. Dr. West. I don't think it was like the University of Chicago. No, no, there's... Oh, this No, cool. scroll down. Scroll down. That... Oh, wait, no. Okay. One more. There's, there's one of him, like, not smiling in the, the <laughs> cap and you know. ah, Blessed. The School of the Art Institute in Chicago. What? School of the Art Institute? There we go. Th- this is the one of which I am familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Why is he always... I don't understand that pose. I just... I don't get it. I just don't get the man. I don't like him. I'm not a big fan of it. He's a genius. Uh, and a god. And Jesus. <laughs> All of these things he is. And his children. Sir makes a lot played at the fair this week. God bless him. At the at the, the South Plains Fair. The South Plains Fair. That that one on this week, I yeah. did not go out to that. No, same, actually. That's a waste of money, in my opinion. And time. But you know what? You do you. If you want to go, you go. You waste your money there. My I went, thing is, I went like, last the year prior, <clears throat> and between me and my girlfriend trying to park and eat and go on rides, we probably spent about a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'll just let that that number sit there. And you, you know, you're already you're. you're that was on my back DT. then. You were comfortable, yeah. in your paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh boy. Um, what is there to eat for people like you that isn't dessert? At the fair. Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, what is there to eat, period, at the fair? Like, yeah, it's it's kind of... It's popcorn, yeah. cotton candy, like funnel yeah, cakes. Your deep fried cheeseburger wrapped in bacon here. Like, that's... It's, it's kind of disgusting, honestly. It... I mean, I... The only things worth eating are, like, don't even have meat in them. It's just, like, fried batter. Yeah, fried in, like... Oh, man. Uh, let's just eat this big old glob of flour that's been fried. <laughs> it's my attempt at a crunching <clears throat> sound right there. Fried cheese. I'll eat some fried cheese. That sounds fantastic. Oh, aren't you a big cheese guy? I am a huge cheese guy. It's pretty uh, cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate you. Oh, God, I hate myself, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um... South Plains Fair. 100 years. I don't say. Yeah. Do the math. They started in 1914, and in the year 2017, it's been 100 years. <laughs> That's not even a joke. They stopped doing it for a few years during World War II for some reason. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. I mean, that's when the women came to college. <laughs> exactly. That is, that is oh, an yeah. actual fact. Oh, no, yeah. We had, like, three women student government association presidents in a row, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it was quite the time to be a woman in the United States, I believe. And then all the men came back. And, and then, then, then they weren't ruined it anymore. Yeah, yeah, ah, no. The losers. There was, uh, I think, like <clears throat> one year in Texas Tech history. Mm-hmm. We'll have to look at the graphic mm-hmm. from last year. Oh. Uh, Self plug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there was one year where the women outnumbered the men. Yeah. One. Mm-mm. In Texas history. Not anymore. Nope. Can't have that. Equality and all that. Speaking of equality, guess what month we're in? September. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. It is Hispanic heritage. I don't know what's worse. Did I have to look at my laptop to, like, know that it was September? Or, like, you know, (laughs) the fact that I didn't know it was September. I think the fact that you didn't know it was September. I think I just... Actually, both. Like, I would understand if you had to look at your laptop for the day, but the month is fairly easy to remember. <clears throat> Except whenever you're in that period, like, I, I think every month has 31 days, so I really don't know when it ends and when it when they begin. No, I think it ends tomorrow. So, yeah. Right? I don't know. There's 32 days in September, right? Yes. 
Okay. 30, 20, 30, 35 days hath November. <laughs> April. <laughs> I don't know the, the saying. <laughs> either. Somebody taught me, uh, but uh, in school they taught me to use your knuckles for the That's 31, no 30, but I don't remember like which knuckle to start on, which is my problem, so like I'm always one off. Eh, doesn't matter anyways. I didn't know there was two consecutive months with 31 days in them. I forgot which two they are, but there's two. That's your, that's your takeaway that. from this. Yes. Hitler's in hell with wet socks, and there's two months with 31 days. <laughs> there's at least two. <laughs> Let this be known. Lord. So Hispanic Heritage Month ranges from September 15th to October no, September 16th to October 15th. Um, there it is. What? I was looking for the year. Oh, my God. 1945. There was uh, 1,454 women and 970 men. Was that a fall? One of which was probably Donald Trump. <laughs> he had heel spurs, oh, Michael. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm... I'm... He couldn't. He couldn't go to the war. Yeah. He really wanted to. Is that also his reasoning not to stand up during the national anthem as well? <laughs> I have heel spurs. Can't get up. Spurs. That's why he doesn't like the San Antonio team. Absolutely. They disgust him. Speaking of which, Popovich actually spoke on the matter. That guy's cool. Yeah, Popovich is a cool guy. I don't know anything about no basketball, and but I know well, he's Popovich cool. Popovich is a cool guy. Yeah. And he's, he's like pretty much told him he needs to shut up. I've n- never been so impressed by the words of a rich white man <laughs> than by the words of uh, of Popovich. Well, it's because uh, he's not a total ass, though. Like he's like socially aware. He, yeah, he cares. Like, I mean, not... his team's like ninety percent. Like <clears throat> that is the most diverse team in the NBA, probably. Really? Yeah, they're like, they any French good? and Argentinian, and then an Argentinian. Yeah, they have an Argentinian. It's a little funky, but mm. like you know. I don't know about the South American folk. It's a mixing pot. <laughs> God bless Not Texas. Pot. Yeah. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Everybody knows in the United States is homogenized. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> We're all American. <laughs> there is n- but one culture, the American culture. And that's the culture that I believe in. I believe that's... Uh, <laughs> Quoted directly from Donald Trump. That that wasn't an asterisk. That was sarcasm. <laughs> In case anybody ever tries to pull it up. One culture, the American culture. I love that. Uh, I might use that in a speech one day. Yeah. Whenever I have to make a speech. Yeah, just be sure to. If ever. Be sure to, you know, uh, quote it back to this. You quote that to, to you. Yeah. Uh, you but I to, thought it was Donald you Trump. You have to cite it correctly. Yeah, you have to sight up into that part. And then, <laughs> then, like, and then you can, you know, hmm. attribute it to me later. You know, that's the word I was looking for. Attribution. I don't believe in that. No. Yeah, that's why. God, I'm sleepy. Journalist. But yeah, um, man, where did we start? <laughs> what took me down that rabbit hole? I don't know, honestly. I forgot already. You started talking about your own graphic on the... Daily Torridor website. At www.dailytorridor.com. <laughs> oh, God. I'm a freaking trip, man. Anyways, this. Yeah. Oh, heel spurs. Heel spurs. That's a goddess there. <laughs> God. The whole thing just upsets me. Like, it's just. there's <clears throat> Someone as disrespectful as that man. Mm-hmm. And he's talking about respect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. And then I guess I guess this is your textbook definition of cognitive dissonance. So I mean, no, right? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I something of the so. sort. I think he's just being an ass, oh, trying man. to just drum up support. I don't. I honestly don't think the man cares. He's just trying to get his like support base like riled up. Yeah. But yeah, Donald. He also, cares about America. I was talking to somebody who's a hardcore Trump. Fella, I don't know why I was talking to him, but it was. Uh, Broski was telling me that, uh, you know, he his breaking point with Donald was him 
talking about the NFL like that. That was it. That's the breaking point. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. <laughs> That's your hardcore Trump fan right there. I don't, Man, I I don't love, care. How I you. love Donald, but, <laughs> but I love football more. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, God. You know, I don't care how he talks to women. I don't care how he, you know, conducts intercultural relations. But I do care about the way he talks about the NFL. Idiot. This is demoralizing. <laughs> ah, this is just, I don't know, this whole week has been just very demoralizing for me. Like, people caring about the Kardashians, mm. and then T-Rump talking about that, and then... What else has happened? It's been, a, it's been an odd week. Just rain. It is what it is. I haven't slept since, like, Sunday. I think that's also what it is. You should get sleep. I got some sleep last night. Oh, look at you. Yeah, knowing that, uh, <clears throat> I was under the, uh, great flag of the united states <laughs> protected by dr trump i will go i, I just bestowed upon him the uh the honorary degree of doctor <laughs> i'm gonna say dr kanye but i got carried off you know donald trump and daily torridor have the same first letters somebody said dt the other day referring to donald trump and i was like yo oh. what do you no well don't whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's the dt oh god that, that sounds even worse the e, e. <laughs> the Donald, because that's how he refers to himself sometimes. No, yeah, that has to be the most unenthusiastic nickname anybody can give a person. The like people Donald. call him the Donald. Yeah, that shut is up. Pretty, that is pretty just uninspired. Uh, yeah, that's that's the word I was that's looking for. Uninspired. <laughs> I'm gonna call myself the Jericho. <laughs> Lord Donald. I think it's just like if you have two syllables in your name, the Michael, the Michael, the Mike. All right, that's enough of this. Hey, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Man, I I I miss Ryan. Oh, yeah. where is Ryan? Is yeah. he dead? He's dead too. Ryan died. Ryan Orchicum died. He he might. Oh, be... he lives on my floor actually. Yeah, he I might believe. be getting an award for a story he did. Oh, with really? DT. Yeah, oh, he did that. Uh, he did a, a Ryan Orchicum did a story over. Um, the sexual, sexual assault, assault. Yeah. Uh, very in-depth nice yeah. uh, long was, form story on our website look and good yeah might be getting I had to a, read it uh, I had to, I had to read it oh, for, yeah. for, for, for work and uh, yeah that was a good story yeah, American and, Collegiate yeah. Press Award finalist so. Ooh, fancy I know I'm up for one too <laughs> <laughs> you know so uh, the American College Collegiate Press does some awards every now and again, and so the Daily Torridor is up for a few. I, along with some old writers of ours, am up for an award in our package we did with uh, with the one of the first ladies, black women, to come to Texas Tech, Stella Crockett oh. Courtney or Courtney Crockett, I forget. But if you remember correctly, because you were here, I do remember. <laughs> instead of the header that was on that paper. Uh, saying defining decades. Oh, it said deafening decades <laughs> because we're dumb. And so, like, I'm reading through the list. Somebody sent me the link of like all the finalists, and then reading through the list. And on, on the link, it's correct. See, but then I click the link, and it takes us to, and it from the link, it takes you to the actual issue, the the copy. Yeah. And so I click on it thinking, you can know we, what? Can we no, amend no, that? No, time out. <laughs> time out. I click on it thinking, oh, man, I remember we kind of messed up on that because it's really big. Like somebody pointed out to us the day after we printed the stupid thing. And it's really big on the front bear page. Bear in mind. <laughs> bear in mind. At, at, at 11. We'll, yeah. insert, we'll insert a late time here. No, at 11 yeah. p.m. There's probably about 12 of us. All in the newsroom the day before this goes out. Sleep deprived. Sleep definitely sleep deprived <clears throat> because we can't remember our eyes. <laughs> Nobody catches this. No. How many editors are there? Like like what? Seven? Nine? 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 Day, yeah. It None it fell through it. ten people's <laughs> heads. The thing that pissed me Everyone off. has to sign oh, off on the front my page. Lord. And I picked not it up. Anthony. I, not you. I picked it not up. Amy. I, not. <laughs> I picked it up the next morning and immediately just put it back down. I'm like, oh Christ! 
So I click on the link to the issue, and I'm like, it can't be that bad. I click on the link, and it goes right to deafening decades, and I drop my phone and cringe in my seat. The worst thing ever. It pisses me off, because it's such a good package, too. And we're probably not going to win an award for it, because we forgot an eye. Oh. Oh! It just hurts my soul. Ah! That was probably the best one. That was one of the good ones. That was one of the, one of the, <laughs> one yeah, of the that was one of the good ones. ones. <laughs> In terms of content, yeah, that that was a yeah. Ugh. What was it's, the other one? Yeah. The women, the women's. Uh, that one didn't turn out that well. One of my favorite ones was. Uh, you know what happened a year ago, today or yesterday? Hmm. We uh, we did that story about a. Uh, uh, Lance Nail. <laughs> oh, that was a... <laughs> Lance Nail uh, oh. trying to file a lawsuit against the university. Oh, my. Read that one. That was a, a hoop. Jesus Christ, that man. I'm glad he's Lance, in San Diego now. <laughs> Lance, if you're listening, you took a lot of sleep away from these poor people. <laughs> <laughs> That's less of a reason for me to stay up at night. Honestly, like, if he does something now, it's San Diego's problem. Thank Christ. Damn. Is he still a meme here around the, the office? <laughs> no, nobody knows who he is anymore. Oh, it's all... Yeah, all, it's, it's, all, it's a bunch of new people here. They're all dead. That's all a, the people who we used to work for are dead. Yeah. Everyone I know. Oh, yeah, I was listening to that song the other day. I meant to... <laughs> yeah. Good old Johnny. Oh, he's dead, too. In the literal sense. <laughs> oh, man. What are your football predictions this week? We play OSU. We're going to lose. I 63 to 21. <laughs> I'm at a moral crossroads here because No, no Michael. No, no. No, they're no. losing. Nope. They're losing. I we cannot no, lose against a man who has a mullet. No, they're losing. We have to we have to say they lose. You don't understand. <laughs> Why do we have to say that they lose? Because we're always <laughs> wrong about things. <laughs> I earnestly thought we were going to have like an 0-3 record right now. Mm-hmm. Or how many games have we played? No, yeah, yeah. Three. It's three, right? Three. Four weeks, three games. Uh, one. One by week. ASU. Mm-hmm. Washington. Or Eastern Washington. Mm-hmm. What was the other one? Houston. Oh. Yeah, that was last week. Yeah, that was last week. Yeah. Was it? No, I expected no. us to lose all those games. Uh, I was hoping, honestly. And Tech might... <sighs> We're knocking on the wood here. I'm telling you. I, Tech uh, might get ranked if they beat OSU. I just don't like the fact that Dundee has a mullet, and I hope that, like... I hope that he there's an accident in which he has to shave his head. If he shaved his head, maybe I'd think that they have a shot at winning. Are you listening? Yeah. You should add him on on, <laughs> at, <laughs> on the on the Twitter. At, Shave your head at <laughs> at, 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 at Gundy's Mall. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> you know your funny football story this week. I uh, I interviewed the president on Monday, Lawrence Skubinek, our dearest buddy, uh, pal. Yeah, Lawrence. <laughs> and. Uh, he's admitted to me in the past that he does not keep up with the sports, and I've admitted to everybody I meet that I don't keep up with the sports, you know. Is that so? So, so uh, before our initial interview on Monday, well, we were attempting to make small talk with each other, and the subject that we chose was very... Uh, Is it football? Yeah, because I'm an idiot. Oh. It's like, so, did you go to the game, Lawrence? And he was like, yeah. Yeah, I went to the game. He's talking to me. He, he threw, he threw uh, t-shirts I at saw us. that, yeah. We yeah, I was like, he, he, has a pretty good, he has a pretty good arm. He does. Yeah, he does. he's, he's throwing he a pretty, pretty, pretty far. Does he work out? Yeah. Speaking of working out, how's yeah. that going, Michael? Oh, Christ, on a bike. I have started working out this week, and I hate my life. Working out for chumps, and I'm never going to do it again. I couldn't sit down Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. That's unfortunate. You know how terrible that is? No. Because I don't work out. I do think we're probably at around the same like level of exhaustion. What do you mean? Because I don't sleep and you work out. So, I mean, <laughs> it's practically the same. I mean, we're burning like the same amount of calories. Makes sense. Like in one day, like what? Like a, a million calories, I'd reckon? Is that how many you think you burn in a workout? 
about a million. Uh, I'd say, I'd say a good million and a half. Million and a half. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. If if I were working out, man, let me tell you, I'd be burning like two million calories <laughs> a day. I was on an elliptical machine and it was telling me like my heart rate and like all the calories I was working out. And I was like, yo. And you could then, just see uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> After like you're like, <clears throat> crikey, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, I have a heart rate. That, that's one. That's one <laughs> calorie. I like burn one calorie and have a heart rate <gasps> of three thousand four. <laughs> My God. Yeah, yeah. Just like can't breathe. Oh man, it's a war zone. That, that's I did. Bad. I did legs on Monday. The thing I, is, I can't work out because I will be tired, and then I won't get my homework yeah, done. And you're already mentally tired. Then you'll be physically tired. And then I'll just go to sleep, and nothing will get done. <sighs> Same. I so there is a reason for me not working out. It's not because I Ooh. I want to be uh, unhealthy. Yeah. It's because. I want to get my you know, schoolwork. <laughs> this is a actually that's a terrible excuse, but that is we'll go with it's a fantastic bad. excuse. That's bad. Are you telling me that you'd be able to 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 do whatever it is that you do, mm-hmm. and then still stay up like an additional like six hours? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I'll you. complain and I'm be grumpy for the rest of the six hours, but yeah. But also, I don't have as much on my plate as you do because honestly, I don't go to class. Explode! <clears throat> Your what? My head is about to explode. I'd love to watch that. We should sell tickets. Oh, yeah, that'll help pay for the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's a moral. Speaking of business. paying for stuff, we need to talk about this uh, sports facility. When is the... Uh, they moved the date to October something. They used oh, to they... Be se- yep, they used to be September 15th. How convenient. Yeah. Ah, you know what? We'll just move the open date. $3,000 a day if it doesn't open on time. And what is on time? We don't know anymore. <laughs> Boy. The price of the project just went up, but at least we haven't gone past the due date. Yeah, you see Cliff's uh, 4-0? Ooh, boy. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to, to, to argue with perceived success. <laughs> Though I think he's bought himself another season. If he wins this game... Honestly, yeah. Yeah. We almost got him two years ago here. Might, might get him again. Might almost get them again. Who knows? Who cares? Not me. Mm. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> All right, you about ready to put this puppy to sleep? I have to put the football program to sleep. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> that's all. I sure hope y'all had a ball.